Guys, I made this beautiful wreath and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to decorate a small porch for fall. I'm Marlene and welcome to my home and garden channel. So guys, in today's video, this is actually a part of an open collaboration hosted by my channel Marlene's How To's and co-hosted by Penny's Lifestyle Living, Deborah Cabasa Home Living and Anna from the Grace Life DIY channels. So I'll go ahead and link their channels in the description box below guys so be sure to check them out after you're finished watching this video. So the first thing that I did was to go ahead and get the front porch cleaned. I did a lot of sweeping and I also went in and I you know wiped down the um the door thoroughly. There are a few cobwebs here and there you know they build up over the summer so I had to clean everything out. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all the things that I use individually. So here you see I have um, some chrysanthemums and in the previous video which I'll attach at the end I'm going to show you um, you know some really nice plants that you can get for your um, for your front porch or even your garden and I got two of those and I also got this red one that you're seeing right here. Just such beautiful vibrant fall colors and they haven't fully opened yet which is what I want because they're going to last for weeks and weeks you know way up into thanksgiving and then over here now i have this one that i've had for about five years and i'll also link the video at the end for this one as well to showing you how to get your chrysanthemums to come back year after year so you don't have to throw them out and you can save money that way and this one you can see that there are little buds on there that haven't um, opened up yet so over here of course we have the pumpkin which is a must-have you know as far as our um fall decoration goes so I got that one right there and then over here now um, I got this and this was actually from the dollar store. I thought it was really nice because I'm trying to do that farmhouse um, theme and I thought it went really well. The pumpkins on top there definitely match, you know, with what I had in mind. And the next from the dollar store I also got this little sign right here which says give thanks. Very appropriate, you know, we're so thankful for the fall season and, you know, just for everything in general. So I thought I'd definitely get that one. And then over here I have the wreath, which I made. And I was so pleased with it. I used the burlap ribbon, as you can see on there. And, you know, put everything together. We'll talk about it a little bit more in the details. And I also did a previous um, video showing you how to do that. But um, you'll have to check out my autumn list, my autumn playlist, guys, which I'll also link at the end. So you can take a look at all the different, you know, things that I do for fall. And you can, you know, get some ideas, some inspiration and see if there's anything you might want to try. And over here I have my croton and this I had repotted it in the spring. And as you can see, it's doing really, really well. The younger leaves are still more or less yellow and green, but they'll get brighter, you know, darker in color as the season progresses. And then I'll have to take them inside when it gets really, really cold. And over here I got some, um... Some little um, sprays, you know, from the, um, these are from the dollar store as well too, but they sell them at different places. You can always get those. And I also got this, this fall sign. It's probably about four feet tall, I think. And so I got that it says, hello fall. So I thought, yep, this is perfect. And you know, it has that pop of orange you know, for the pumpkin. So I thought that that went really, really well there. So now guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and hang the wreath on the door. And make sure that I do it right. And you'll notice uh, most times that most of my things that I do, I do them asymmetric because that's just me. Sometimes I'll do stuff symmetrical, but I tend to like when it's kind of off to one side. But of course, everybody has their own way that they do it. And now, guys, we're going to take a look at the reveal to see exactly what I did. So here we are, guys, and I'm just going to give you a, you know, a sweep of it just to show you overall how everything came together. And then afterwards, I'm going to go in and go, you know, individually to show you the different pieces, you know, how, how I arranged them and how everything came together and hope that this will give you some great ideas. So we're going to start from over here now, and this is the chrysanthemum. So the two that I had, I put the two of them in a larger container so it would have a more pop of color. And I thought that that worked out really well. And I did put some mulch around it. You know, it also gives it that kind of farmhouse look as well too. Plus it helps to protect the plant as well from the cold. And then over here now, that's the one that we're waiting for that. And that's going to be a burst of color in the next two weeks or so. And over here I have the sign that says, Hello Fall. And you can see the wreath right here. And on here I use like, um, you know, the picks. I use my burlap ribbon there, little pumpkin, little spray of pumpkin right there, and some cattails. And I thought it came out really, really well. You can see the thank you sign right there. And let's just take a closer look at this um, 
that I got here. And that is the, the truck that says Pumpkin Patch. And it says, pick your own farm fresh apples, corn, pumpkins, and gourds. So I thought that went, that blended in very perfectly with what I was going for here. And guys, you know, the fall season is just so wonderful. You know, there's so many wonderful things that we do. You know, we go out and we pick apples, you know, we get pumpkins, you know, you go on your hay rides, you know, it's just all so wonderful. And so over here, I thought that this was really helpful to help to bring the colors in where I put, you know, those additional, um, you know, sprays that I had for the flowers. And I put some of the cattails in there to give it a little lift in the middle. And I just love how the colors are popping there, guys. Just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And it's some, you know, some little berries on there too. You know, all these little things that come together, you know, when the fall season is coming around. And this right here is the red chrysanthemum and the flowers are still tight right now for all of them and so they're going to last for quite a few weeks it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous when everything opens up this little one right here i had this one from before and i repotted it and i also showed you how to do that that's also available in my autumn um, playlist as well that shows you how to repot your um, chrysanthemum so that one is you know it's coming up doesn't have as many blooms but over time it's going to be right there with the other ones and over here now I've got this welcome mat and you can see that I put a few of the leaves on there. These are actually, um, you know, they're silk leaves. Um, but of course, in a few weeks, that's going to be real leaves that's going to be blowing over on my front porch. And I just absolutely love it. So I thought that those leaves created a nice, you know, look, you know, very inviting, very warm. And of course, you know, welcome. It's just perfect, you know, the type of mat to fit in with a farmhouse theme. And I do see some people use the welcome for the fall that, that I have for the fall sander. Of course, it just depends on what you prefer. But guys, if you've gotten this far in the video, I do want to say that I do hope that you will hit the notification bell twice and hit the subscribe button. So that way you can be notified of whenever my videos come out, the past ones, the future ones, you know, you'll always, you know, be in the loop and you can see if it's something you want to watch or not. But if you don't check, then then you won't know what's what's coming up so it's good to do that and that way you kind of know you know what to expect so I just thought that everything came together so so well just so warm and inviting and I'd love to see your comments about your plans that you have as far as decorating your space for the fall season it's just such a wonderful time and again guys you know be sure to check out the other ladies channels that I'll be linking below and also the playlist I'll be putting that as well for you to check out some other ladies who joined us as well so I do hope that this inspired you. I want to thank you so much for coming back time and time again. It means a lot to me. Of course, my main goal is just to provide information and inspiration for you. And I get the same from other people that participate as well, too. So I want to say thanks again for stopping by. I do wish you all the very best. Take care of yourself and your family and have a wonderful fall season.